Welcome Libra. We are going to be making an inquiry into uh, what it is that your soul would like you to know right now. Libra, using Work Your Light Oracle cards, the inquiry cards specifically, um, mystical healing cards and Osho Zen Tarot. Okay, I don't know why I still have to look at that when I pick it up, but I do. Because I'm in the zone, I'm in the zone. Okay, let's do it. One card for Libra, please. One card for Libra. The crumbling. The crumbling. What are you clinging on to? This, this, what I'm feeling right now, this is reminding me of the tower card. The tower, it's like the majority of it has fallen and the face of it remains. And and it's, it's kind of like, Libra, I see you standing there holding it up with your hands like, no, it's not going to fall, right? And it's sort of like it has to fall because you see the beauty behind it here. It's like it has to fall because there's, there's something even more beautiful to be revealed. But the fear of it, of it falling Is stopping that from being revealed. Hmm. Interesting. Three cards for Libra in regard to the crumbling, please. What are you clinging on to? I don't like how that came out. Two more cards. You. Okay, so we've got, okay, um, this first card here is take positive action. Um, There's, there's something that needs to be done that some of you are afraid to do. You feel too vulnerable. You feel like it's going to open you up to um, open you up to something that you're not going to be able to deal with. And it's kind of like, do you know what this is like, Libra? It's sort of like taking a journey um, in a in a pretend vehicle. And I'm what I mean by that is metaphorically, it's like journeying through life in a bath with a make-believe sail and pretending it's a boat. It's, it's sort of like it's not real. And this is really interesting because before when I was looking at this card, I felt like the crumbling of the tower needs to happen in order for a new foundation to be built. And it's sort of like really wiping that slate clean and going, let's just bring this down and rebuild it. Because the tower is, it's kind of like it's too old. It doesn't serve its purpose anymore. And so something new needs to be built. Because like you look at this, right? There's all this beautiful, um, okay, okay. So once upon a time the tower was built. And it's potentially the case that there was not the um, terrain that there is now around the tower. Okay. 
So it's kind of like it needs to be rebuilt. Like the windows, you wouldn't be able to see the, the enormity of the landscape and the beauty of it from those little windows. You would want almost that whole tower built with, with glass so you can see everything. And that's what I feel like this is saying here. Don't be afraid of the crumbling of the tower because what will come after that will be so much more. You will get that real boat to, to sail this journey in. Yeah, okay, so tell me more about take positive action here. And, and it's sort of like, I mean, there's only kind of like one wall of the tower left, so it's, it's crumbling anyway. And I feel like if you take positive action about it, you'll be able to have more control um, in regards to it rather than just seeing what happens or hoping for the best. Um, see, and even here, like this person, it's like they're in the tower, right? And there's no windows for them to see what it is that is around them anymore. It's sort of like this narrow focus in a sense, I suppose. Hmm, yeah, see there's this harmony and this abundance there to be had, but it's kind of like it's, I suppose, in, in yeah, 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 because when the arm is on and it's stressful and, and, that, you know, the focus gets narrowed and it's kind of like not being able to see what the possibilities are because this is what is concentrated on because what is happening is it's like just going through the motions step by step, hoping and praying that you don't get blasted by the surrounding bombs that feel like are there in your life. Just trying to juggle everything and hope for the best. But you can feel it. You can feel it so much that, man, something's going to give at any point in time. And it's all going to come crumbling down. Well, maybe you can initiate the crumble in the sense of looking at what you want from the outcome of the fall. I feel like, in a sense, there's more focus going on the fall of the tower than what you'll be able to build after that. Yeah. Yeah. And and this is this is very important for you to um, accept guidance along the way okay to go into the silence to really settle your your mind to really settle your heart to connect the two okay so that you can lead from a place um, that is going to give you the abundance for everyone involved that is there rather than coming from this place here because you just imagine what the outcome would be if you come from this place and what the outcome would be if you come from this place. Yeah. Mm. This next card here is learn from karma. Learn from karma. You know, it's kind of looking at what maybe has happened for you in past relationships or what happens for other people. Um, and, and really, when you look at karma, you know, it's, it's it, people often think that it's about do this and you'll get this back. Do that and you'll get this back. 
karma it can also be this bubble of our own where that we are in and it's just solely us in that bubble and when we're projecting onto other people it's just hitting the edge of the bubble and slapping us right back in the face every single time and it's like every time you get slapped by something it's actually the karma of what you're putting out there anyhow it's like um, someone not treating you um, in a way that you want to be treated or in a way that you feel you deserve, right? And it keeps coming back and it keeps happening and happening and happening. And there's this projection of being annoyed and angry at that person for treating you that way but what is actually coming back at you is the anger and annoyance it's kind of like they are just there turning the wheel for you of our own karmic cycle does that make sense So I, I, I feel like Libra, this is very important for you to be quite insightful, to go quite deep into yourself. And I'm not saying everything's your fault and no one else is responsible for anything. I guess it's the thing of we are all responsible for our own karmic cycle. And it's not up to anybody else to break that cycle but us. So look at the cycles, look at the cycles in your life. Things that may have um, irritated you about other people or endings of, of um, certain things, you know, whether it be at work, at home, relationships, friendships, whatever. Look at those cycles and see, see the common thread and that's your karma in the sense of what it is that maybe you're putting out and bringing back to yourself. So it's sort of like I'm seeing the ocean with the currents, right? Of it going out and coming back, going out and coming back. And that's kind of like what karma is, but it's in our own space. And, and people come along and we think, oh, that's, you know, our karma or, you know, they've brought that to us. But they are just um, actually helping to maintain that cycle for us. Hmm. Interesting. Really interesting. Yeah. Okay, so we have the creator and change. It's you can create the change that you seek in your life, that you desire in your life. Remembering that the constant of who you are is what remains the truth. Everything else is going to change. Everything else, it's the cycle of change here, yeah? And it's going to change. It needs to change. It has to change can't you can't build onto that it's got to come down in order to rebuild this is a this is a a um a tower moment that has to happen it has to and it doesn't mean it's bad it just feels like it is we have slowing down and postponement here so you know, with this change, that can feel quite um, chaotic. And, you know, especially when we've got these two cards here is this energy as well. Um, so really taking your time, really focusing on um, what, what 
what it is, what foundation you do want to build here, okay, and, and doing that very slowly and consciously, taking it step by step by step. So you're not just going, oh, well, let's just get it over and done with then. So don't have to, you know, painstakingly go through this dismantling of this tower bit by bit, right? Sometimes, you know, it could be that this one wall remains because this is the toughest wall to break down. Is this your wall here, Libra? Is this a wall that you've built to keep yourself safe? Maybe, and maybe this is what needs to come down. Is that what the tower is? Only you know the answer to that, right? We have innocence and the dream here. You know, Libra, I feel as though this is uh, necessary for you to... Go back, go back to when things were new, when everything was wonderful, or at least appeared wonderful. Go back to that. What was it that you dreamed of? What did that look like? When you're, when you're going back to that, you're thinking also of Bearing that in mind, right? Because this was innocent here. This was innocence. Okay? It was the innocence of the beginning. And also what it was that you dreamed of that growing into. You know, what, what vision you had for that, yeah? And so when you're looking at that, you're looking at that in the sense of, okay, bearing that in mind as I figure out a way or whoever it is that you're building the new foundation with, figuring out a way to make the foundation solid now so that both parties are involved. Because maybe the dream was only based on what it was you wanted or maybe it was based on what the other person wanted. Maybe it's a dream that you have for building your own business. And maybe you're working someone else's business and you want to build your own. You know, maybe that's crumbling down around you and you're having ideas of what not to do, at least. At the very least, what not to do. Yeah? Hmm. And what I want to say about that too, of looking at the things to Libra that maybe you, can, you, you have had trouble of letting go of and working on those to help yourself let go of them because you're not going to be able to build that solid foundation unless those things are worked through. We have focused on focus on higher truths, and this is the truth in your soul. Okay, um, this is taking the mask off and being completely and utterly honest with yourself. You know about there's a keyhole here that I've just noticed. This was also came out in Virgo's reading as well, so you might want to have a look at that. But the keyhole, there's a keyhole, and it's kind of like the keyhole has been hidden by time. That's so hilarious because in Virgo's reading, I asked, there's something about the clock. What it is, is it about time? And I, I don't know if I got the answer or not, but I remember specifically answering, and time reveals all. Time is, is uncovering the keyhole, right? And it's kind of like once the tower comes down, it's like the key is buried under the tower and then the, ta the key will be revealed and you'll be able to unlock things, right? You'll be, un you'll be able to unlock these higher truths here by going inside and listening. Time. Yeah, because see, here's the ink up here. This jumped out at me too. Time, up the ink for me is a key. Time. Still don't know what the S is about yet, because I did, that jumped out at me in the last reading too, so 
go and have a look at that because you might get something out of that too. Okay, so tell me more about focus on higher truths here. It's kind of like also been in two worlds. There's the sense of not wanting to talk. I'm just going, shh, don't worry about that. doesn't matter. doesn't matter. It matters. There's something that you feel you can't talk about here, Libra. It needs to be talked about. Okay. What have we got here? We've got these two cards here. Um, this, this is about you having some fun. It's also about transparency. Being honest. It's an, honest is the wrong word. It's just being transparent. Not hiding anything. Out of fear. Out of fear that this will crumble. So that's what's holding you back. Having fun with it, you know, enjoying it. Taking each step one by one. Because, you know, there's this real shaky ground here. And that's okay. And if you're afraid of that, say so. All you have to do is say, I'm so freaking scared. I'm so scared I'm going to lose everything. You no. Know? And it's okay. Because when you do that, people around you know what's going on and they can open up too. Yeah? And you can have the breakthrough that you deserve and desire because you can just smash these down slowly. <laughs> but you can smash through them. You can smash through the walls. You know, when you start to become transparent and really communicate what it is that you're feeling, what it is that you need, what you want, and speak from the heart, this breakthrough will happen. Right? Bring this inner master out, right? The, become the master of your own life. Because, I mean, you you know, if there's anything else in life that you, you are here to master, it's your own. It's your own journey, your own path. Right? Yep. Because this is exhausting. Trying to hold it all together. Trying to hold this up on your own is, is exhausting. And you absolutely had it. So it's time for a new beginning. It's time for a new truth. It's time for a new you. It's time for a new well, not just beginning, but a life. It feels like a new life, actually. So, yeah. Yeah, wow. Okay, so. Interestingly enough, this card actually came up for cancer. So that could be another reading that you want to go and look at, especially if you're dealing with a cancer or you have cancer in, in your chart trying to get my words out and not breathe um funny thing is that when i did cancer's reading i completely forgot to read the meaning of this card right so have a look at that reading because i just wonder if i, I don't remember what it was about but i just wonder if there'll be more in there for you okay to um to help you on, uh, during this time yeah Okay, so the crumbling. What are you clinging on to? There is a shift happening right now where anything inauthentic can no longer survive. Relationships, jobs, social structures, anything built on shaky ground is destined to tumble down. It's happening to bring you back home to who you truly are, both individually and to society as a whole, so you can live a life that is in alignment with who you truly are. When you're in the thick of it, it can feel like a personal attack from the universe. Have faith. 
because the difficult times will be your defining moments. You will be reborn in the fire. You are being called to surrender, to stop trying to hold it all together. Loosen your grip to let the crumbling occur. It may be difficult at first, but in the end, the sooner you let go, the sooner the rebirthing will occur. What are you trying to hold together? What are you doing your best to avoid? How are you trying to pretend everything is okay? You have what it takes to allow what is falling away to tumble and fall. Once the tower has crumbled, you will be able to rebuild your home on solid ground with mighty foundations and a view that is so magnificent that it will take your breath away each new morn. Kali, the goddess of destruction, and the Black Madonna are with you now. Lay it all on the altar. They can hold it all. Oh, that just gave me tingles. Yes. And this Work Your Light inquiry says, What are you clinging to for fear of nothing coming to take its place? Yeah, Libra, wow. Wow, 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 wow. I'm going to leave the you with that, Libra. Take care of your beautiful selves and be kind and loving to yourself, okay? See you. Bye-bye.